You're watching America's Forum on Newsmax TV. I'm J.D. Hayworth. Big news this weekend in the city of big shoulders. Uh, a whole lot of left hands and left arms will be raised in acclamation as a major leftist group meeting in Chicago. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio, the keynote speaker at the annual spring meeting of the Democracy Alliance, a group aiming to get big donations from major leftist donors. Its members the descend, uh, then decide which groups uh, to spend the outside cash on. Other topics on the weekend's agenda, panels on income inequality, climate change, and gun control. The group members, which hold their meetings in relative secrecy, are expected to dole out uh, quite a bit of change to a variety of leftist causes. Money and politics, nothing new, but the effort to kind of keep a low profile with this meeting, something that mm, uh, piques our curiosity. And accordingly, uh, we call on our good friend Howard Feynman, the editorial director of the Huffington Post Media Group, for his insights and analysis. So, Howard, welcome back to America's Forum. Well, thank you very much, J.D. I should point out that I'm not in Chicago. No, we, we will take that <laughs> under advisement as you join <laughs> no, us I from mean, the nation's I, capital, I, yes. <laughs> well, well, what do you expect to come out of this thing? I, 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 I was mentioning this yesterday, Howard. Well, that's why I said that's why I said I'm one reason I said I'm not in Chicago. But go ahead. Well, I just I, I got to give the left credit. After the election of 2004, you had uh, Rahm Emanuel and his brother. You had Lori uh, David and I believe George Soros and others gather in my congressional district in Scottsdale, Arizona, to figure out okay, here's how we take over the House. And I'll give them the credit. They got that done by 2006. The left seems to be especially adroit at bringing together these causes and these slogans and these big dollars to get things done. Uh, what do you expect to come out of this, uh, this powwow in Chicago? Well, I, I think you have to look at it, uh, J.D., against the backdrop of... Um, not the 2014 elections, but the 2016 elections, the presidential election to come, and um, the search for an identity of the party after the very personal identity that it took on under President Barack Obama. Um, people on the right may uh, think of Barack Obama as a, a relentless uh, ideologue, but that's not the way the grassroots uh, of the Democratic Party, the, the sort of leftist left side of the grassroots of the Democratic Party see it. They see Barack Obama as a sort of ideologically indistinct figure. They see a cult of personality. They see a, a health care program that they regard as a giveaway to big, you know, to, to the big health care industry, big hospitals, big pharma, et cetera. And they're looking for an identity that I think is based more right this minute on the uh, teachings uh, of Thomas Piketty the author of the new book called Capital, which is uh, all about the left's favorite topic, which is income equality in America and around the world. That's where, that's where they're headed. They don't like Hillary Clinton particularly. It's ironic since Bill de Blasio is the mayor you know, in the big city right, that, that the Clintons are part of at this point. But I think that's the fault line that you're seeing, and you're seeing it start in Chicago. Well, you mentioned Hillary Clinton not exactly being uh, at the top of the leftist list in terms of uh, possible presidents. Who really emerges? Anyone? Will it be Elizabeth Warren or will we see Martin O'Malley? Who do you think is going to become the champion of the left and the anti-Hillary? Or will all these people decide that uh, that discretion is the better part of valor? Well, Nobody on the fringe, on the uh, on the sort of fighting fringes of a political party, ever thinks discretion is the part of a better part of valor. JD, you know that. And I think. <laughs> Why are and you I, saying I'm a fringe I, guy? No, go ahead. No, no, no. You know what? I, I didn't. Fringe is no, not the no, I right word. You know what? I, you know what I mean. Just so, having a little so, fun. No, they they yeah. won't accept. Won't accept Hillary. They think that Hillary has done too many deals. They think she and Bill were way too close to big business over the years. They think they've taken too much money from Wall Street, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, and, and they're not going to go for her. Uh, I would say right now the most likely alternative is Elizabeth Warren. And, and, and I would say also that the mechanics of the media are such that uh, the, the so-called mainstream media 
is uh, is not necessarily going to just uh, give Hillary a pass all the way to the Democratic nomination, and that's because, however much you all may think that ideology drives things, it's conflict that drives cable television. It's oh, conflict that drives. It's conflict that, dis- that, that 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 drives the coverage, and and you can They're not going to sit still. We, I, they, I should say, we are not going to sit still for for a no primary coronation of Hillary Clinton any more than the media was willing to sit still for a a no primary coronation of Hillary Clinton in 2008. That's what gave Barack Obama that in the anti-war speech that he that he gave in 2002. uh, That's 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 what created the the Obama opening and the Obama presidency. A couple of minutes left, Howard. I brought up his mm-hmm. name earlier. He is the mayor of Chicago. We've not seen his name really uh, joined to this conference, but you talk about media buzz and uh, and media presentations. The word I'm hearing is that Rahm Emanuel in this upcoming CNN series, Chicagoland, uh, comes off as uh, as really the main character and the hero of this uh, this cable endeavor. For purposes of full disclosure, we know you're an MSNBC guy, but what about mm-hmm. Rahm Emanuel and his political fortunes vis-a-vis both this conference and the CNN series Chicagoland? Okay, a couple quick things. Uh, I think the Chicago Tribune has a piece saying that uh, the cooperation was a little too close, shall we say, between uh, the subject and the, and the uh, news organization in that series. That's the Chicago Tribune talking, not me or MSNBC talking. We have a piece about that on in the Huffington Post today. As far as Rom, Rom, Rom's ambition knows no bounds. And uh, if there's a Hillary stumble uh, in terms of the establishment of the Democratic Party, uh, Rom is ready to rush right in. I have no doubt about that in my mind. I think Rom Emanuel thinks he he could be president, thinks he could handle the job. He saw it from the inside as chief of staff. His ego is big enough. His ambition is big enough. Um, his family connections in their own crazy way are, are big enough out of Chicago uh, in his mind. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'm, I'm expecting that to happen at some point down the road for sure. Well, we appreciate that, and I, for one, can vouch for his ruthlessness politically, having served with him on yeah. the Ways and Means Committee and then finishing right. second in a race in 2006. Howard Feynman, great to have you on. Look forward to visiting anytime, with you again anytime, real soon. JD. You take anytime. good care. We'll see you soon. Okay, fine. So what's going to happen with the left? You got any ideas? We'd love to hear from you. You can tweet us at America's Forum.